Hey guys, if you're one of them who has filled up their Google photo storage and you don't have any more storage left in your Google account and you would like to get back and recover some of your storage to start receiving emails and stuff, you're here at the right place. And you can click on the storage option on your left hand side to come to this page where you get options to review and delete some of the items that you don't need. Now on this page, you can see 2.5 GB of storage is remaining for me. So what I'm gonna do is delete those unsupported videos and stuff that I cannot view or use. So I'm gonna go ahead and open unsupported videos and now delete what's in there because the images that's showing up as videos so you can delete them. The next one what you're gonna do is delete any blurry image on there that you don't need then you can head over to large photos and videos where you can see you have a ton of videos that you don't need anymore so I've recorded a few for my videos so I'm gonna head over and delete them because I don't need them anymore and I have enough backups of them on my hard drive already so you can select the videos that you don't need and click the move to trash button on the top right hand side corner Now when that's done, you can see Google backs up all the storage in original quality. So you have another option called the storage saver, which backs up the same photos at a reduced compressed uh, quality. As you can see, there's two options there and I've opted for the storage saver one. To be honest, you don't really see much of a difference in quality when you look at it so it should be fine for normal backup so i've selected storage saver there and for all the photos that's already backed up with the original quality there is a way you can recover the storage back for backing up the upcoming uh, backups and everything and then you head over to the same page manage storage and you see an option called recover storage there so that will convert your original ones to storage saver quality. So before that, you need to back up everything that you have in case you want to get back your original quality. So I've done that already. So I'm going to head over and click on I understand and then compress existing photos and videos. So what you can see over here is this is not a process that you just click and it just converts. It starts converting and it may take hours to complete based on how much data you have on your Google Photos and stuff. So you just let it run by itself and that should do the job. You can also clear the trash so that you don't have any amount of storage being raised for the items that are in your trash. So you can do that. Another thing that you can do is you can always create another Google account and start using that account for your backups. So for that, you can always make a new account and then have it shared, have the old account's photo shared with the new account so that you don't miss out on anything. Make a partnership account with this one. So what we're going to do is open up the new account, Google. You see an option called sharing on the left hand side. So you click and then on the top right hand side so you click on share with partner you can also choose to set a specific day from when you want to share in my case i'm going to select all photos because you have access you, you're going to have all access from the previous photos and then you enter the email that you created so that you can share it with the new email click next and send invitation now what you have to do is open google photos on the new account and refresh the page you should be able to see there's one notification on the sharing part you click on view invitation and then accept now you can always share it back with the account so that you can see what's there in this new account backup or you can just click not now but in my case i'm just going to give next and then send an invitation so you can see what's there on both the ones 
so you can always save the new ones to your new account it's gonna be there on your sharing folder where you can just see and download them if you need this way you can go ahead creating new accounts every six months or a year to have your free storage there and you can still keep backing up at original quality if you like so if you do like the video hit thumbs up and subscribe guys i would really love to make more videos for you guys if you do have any comments or if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments down below thanks for watching guys